Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at a really cool project called the Pi Projector by Mick Make. So let's get started. Now, Mick Make is another content creator here on YouTube. He's actually a friend of mine, and he's been developing this little breadboard that you could actually stick a Raspberry Pi to, then connect it to a DLP projector, which is mind blowing. And overall footprint size is the size of a Raspberry Pi. So it's a so it's ultra mobile solution to running a Raspberry Pi and a projector at the same time. It's also very low power consumption as well. So you can run this off a battery bank. Now what's good about these DLP projectors is that it's using a LED that shoots through a light filter, then shoots to a DMD, which is a digital micro mirror device and then projects it onto the wall. Now this little device, this little wafer of mirrors can actually move about 10 degrees each way very fast causing this type of image behind me. The downside to this, even though it's a very cheap device, the downside to this is the resolution. It's not scalable. Now the resolution that I'm running right now is 640 by 360, a widescreen resolution. And it displays fine. Uh, it's not great, but you could see it's because I have all these lights up, studio lights and everything, it's a little bit washed out behind me, but I'm gonna show you more previews in a better lighting setting. The overall power consumption of this guy runs about 600 milliamps. You can check out all the stats on his website, uh, Mick Mick's website. I'll leave a link on that uh, in the description as well for that. But it's very low power consumption. You could probably bring this anywhere as a presentation tool. Now, the downside to this whole setup as of now, because he's he's been making tons of improvements, is that there's no USB input. Like you could stick the Raspberry Pi, but you're out of space. You can't really stick a USB in there unless you solder onto the uh, P connectors in the back. And then even though you, after you get that, you still don't have audio on this. So you might want to stick in a USB sound card or a USB keyboard and mouse and definitely use the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Now the overall cost on this guy comes out to roughly about 120 bucks, you could say, USD. Um, it's about a hundred under a hundred dollars for the projector itself then the boards he's selling i think for a couple of dollars and then the raspberry pi is ten dollars so ultimately you add it together it's about 120 dollars for this type of project and i believe the ones that he is selling now also is soldered so the board that i have right here that is unsoldered it won't be like this it'll actually have the connectors and the pins already so let's get to the interesting stuff and see what this guy can do or how it looks all right so the first setup i have right now i only have two light source coming in from the left and the right and it's shooting towards this white board, this prep board, you could say, that is made for projects and stuff like that. And I'm about four, maybe three and a half feet distance from the wall itself. And as you can see, it's not too bad. It's a little, still a little washed out, but it's, it's definitely viewable. Okay, so right now I have it roughly about, uh, you could say 12 inches away from the wall. And it's displaying about a seven inch display, you could say. It's super clear this way. Let me zoom in and show you guys. And as you can see, it, it displays very well. And the further you go, obviously, the, the bigger the pixels get. But yeah. So here I have about like, you could say a 32 inch, maybe a 40 inch screen projected to a wall that's actually beige. You can see the color difference here. And uh, it does pretty well. You, I could still see what's going on. So that's that's the whole point of it. I don't think I'll be able to read much text. I could, but it'll be really big text. But as far as video footage, it seems to be uh, pretty good. Okay, so here I actually have it projected to a projector sheet. Uh, still, I have two light sources coming in and I'm still able to view it. Pretty clear, as I can see. I'm actually hand-holding it right now. That's how light and easy it is to handle. And I'm holding my camera in my hand. So yeah, um, pretty good so far. So this is a very cheap solution to running a Raspberry Pi and it runs pretty good. Hang on, let me, let me change my setting. So ultimately, I really like this project and then where it's heading. It's missing some USB ports, but eventually that probably be resolved. Uh, the power pin has to be connected via this little wire as of my version, but I know the version 2.0 or 2.1, he's resolved that issue. Focus point, there's this little needle that you have to move around to get the focus. That is very, very sensitive. So you could just flick it or move it the wrong way and it'll be out of focus. So that's gotta be resolved somehow. I'm thinking about sticking a little bit of grease just at the joint to give it a little bit of friction. And ultimately, uh, I might create a case for the whole thing once I figure out how I want to put the LiPo battery in there. Yeah, this is a pretty neat project. If you want to pick one up and just play around with it, 
Again, Mick Mick's uh, website and his channel will have all the information as far as where you can get one. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this little project, go ask Mick Mick and, and subscribe to his channel because he's really good at what he does. And uh, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts. Hey, baby, you want to film something? Yeah. All right, let's be go. Young forever. You taught me how to love and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby, it was you and me. We can never fall, but nobody could break us here. I thought we had it all. Take me back to when it was you and me, you and me, baby, it was you and me. No, not that fast. All right, pretend like you're running, but very slowly. Yes, go. That's even fast, baby. Move your legs slower. <laughs>